All right, guys, this is Code Online. And in previous video, we, we saw how to update and delete the data. And we also, um, I also told you that uh, we're in next, in this video, we are going to uh, have a bootstrap nav bar so we can uh, toggle here easily. Okay, I have a nice UI. And for that, we'll also use, uh, you know, reusable nav bar. So uh, in every view, we can use the same nav bar. So let's, let's go to the bootstrap. You know, bootstrap get bootstrap.com and go in documentation and we'll search error nav bar. All right, uh, and we'll oh my god, yeah, there it is. And this is white, we'll change it to dark. So let's copy that and let's make a you know folder, uh, a folder in views. Uh, resources views let's close all this otherwise i'll make some mistake you know a new folder will say layouts so that all the layouts will be here and inside there we'll say um new file we'll call it master okay in master um in master we want to have all the links like bootstrap css like that okay master dot blade.php all right and inside here we'll have our html you can do uh, uh, exclamation mark and press tab you know and you will get this and in title we'll say uh, we'll say what uh, laravel laravel series let's say that all right and inside here, uh, in head, we want to have bootstrap link, you know, bootstrap CDN. So let's let's have that from, you know, our, uh, we may have in every file. Let's uh, cut it out from everywhere, okay? We don't need, because we are going to use that uh, from a single file. Let's cut this and let's have that in our master blade in head and we'll paste that here and we'll save it and let's see if everything is working no right now it will not let's remove from product also that uh, cdn of you know bootstrap and also from edit blade okay all right uh so now let's close all of these files and uh, create blade let's change again so i think everything is right yeah and now uh, we want to use uh, yield and extend, okay? And yield and extend. Let's let's copy that again. I actually did many things there. So let's go to master and let's let's have a navbar at top. And after that, uh, we want to say container. Uh, do with container div dot container so a single container will be uh, our every file will be in the container okay so here we'll say um at the rate yield oh my god the rate yield and save this file uh, yield content actually uh, we want to bring content and i'll tell you why we have done this and now uh now now in every every file we want to show navbar we have to do something um uh, let's go in welcome first okay uh we'll just remove this everything this thing and i'll also remove container because we have that container in there and we'll say extend at extends extends we want to say uh, we're going to go to layouts folder and and uh, inside layout we're going to say master okay and after that uh, this will bring a nav bar and that cdn uh, or whatever whatever is in master okay and we want to put this uh we have done their ill content you now so we want to bring content 
uh, after never we want to bring uh, content in this container okay so for this space you know for welcome blade the content will be this uh, product okay we'll say section content and and after everything is completed we'll say add in section all right uh, and let's go here and let's refresh you can see a nav bar beautiful nav bar all right and now i want this to be a little dark okay i mean completely dark uh we'll say nav bar busy dark okay uh yeah i don't know why we want it'll work only when this both are dark so uh we have here a nav bar and now we want to toggle here uh, we are in uh, when we click home we want to we are, we want to go to this file uh, let's add uh actually add nav bar in every page okay so all we have to do is copy this and go to whichever file you like like this create okay and and let's in that section Right, create product create became now this edit blade and in section all right this also completed now let's do that in both categories and we are done A category index all right Now let's go. Uh, let's let's directly add you know link here in our nav bar. When we uh, let's say this Lara, well, let's say code online. This will be, I'll take this as a promotion <laughs> of my channel. All right, and and uh, home we want to say. HRF to URL slash all right let's copy this and we'll say category here and we'll paste this uh, what is category for category link I don't know what is link for category let's let's try here yeah we're good um and in category this there is a link we'll remove that uh in category index i have it opened here yeah remove this save refresh yeah we're good home we're good we can go to add product we can add product let's have your go back button i think let's have that products in what is this edit or create create yeah let's have a link I think we have in welcome page yeah this kind of that um, where it is where is in welcome and we'll change the color too uh, we'll say info and copy this and save and before form we'll say we'll say go back all right go back and it'll be slash all is less all right uh let's go to products you know products yeah so let's go back here and in edit we also want to have that same feature and it, it it's completely same okay uh in you know edit opera uh um yeah inside container we don't need container anymore we because everything is in container okay uh and yeah 
let's paste that link here save that refresh it all right so we can uh, also you can do that with category okay um so in this in this video we we added a bootstrap you know let's remove adverse and i will say again okay that might be a little bit weird but i'll take that and we'll also later implement search functionalities okay uh, let's remove this drop down let's remove this and that's it yeah so uh in this video we uh, added a bootstrap form a uh, bootstrap uh, uh bootstrap nav bar and we uh, uh we use uh at yield contain and extend and yield to you know uh, use um, make use of nav bar in every page and make the content whatever you say um uh, whether whether we are bringing the nav bar or taking the component to that uh, both ways true uh, so that's how we do uh, so we'll we'll meet in the next video thank you guys